Oh my god, <laughs> the thing was just possessed. Over the last week, I spent seven days trying to learn how to unicycle. And it went a little bit like this. We fell a lot. That was good. But yeah, it was fun. So day one, we were off to a bit of a rocky start. It was a bajillion degrees outside. And I spent the first five minutes pumping up tires. Then I slapped on some safety pads and realized... You look like an idiot. Safety first, remember kids. Is that a plane? Yeah. So my plan for the first day was just to get comfortable on the unicycle and to use the fence. But the only thing I really got good at was oh, turning. Oh. Ooh, suave. Voila. Extreme sports. <laughs> Oh my god, you're clammy. Oh. It's like one of those artsy Instagram videos where they're like, ah, I travel the world. So day two, I was getting a bit more comfortable with the unicycle. I could now go from one end of the fence to the other, you know, stopping a few times. But I definitely saw some improvement from the first day when I couldn't even get on properly. So that was great. If I had to describe day three in one word, it would probably be good. Because I was finally getting Hey, the hang of look it. at you go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I still had a long way to go, but I was gradually getting more comfortable with balancing and maneuvering. I resembled a windmill in many cases, with my arms flailing around. Ooh. I say it worked though, it was a good strategy. Oh shit! I couldn't even get that on camera. You just, yeah. Done. So on day four, I began to deviate more from the fence and take more risk. It still wasn't too much risk, it was calculated risk. What? But it was something. Oh my god! So on day five, I got a little bit worse. I don't know how to really say it. I was frustrated that I still couldn't unicycle, but I kept going back and forth anyways. Basically, I was putting too much weight forward, which forced me to like tip over. But on day six, I was making big moves. I could finally go pretty far without go. using the fence, which was really exciting. Exciting! My neighbors walked past. Hi. So I said hi. They've definitely seen me run back and forth a thousand times, so I have nothing to lose. Day seven, the last day of the time lapse, I could unicycle. My hands were still flailing all over the place, but I was a lot more confident. I was skirting all over the place, yeeting back and forth so fast. Okay, I don't know what this video is become. <laughs> I was not prepared for this shot. I almost ran my sister over and yeah, I was like swimming in the air. It was pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I have a sweat stash. Sweat stash. Oh, I know.